Solar Guard's flat glass film is ideal for any application where reducing heat while maintaining sunlight is important. By following the instructions in this video, you are helping customers save on energy costs while enhancing a more comfortable and productive environment. In this video, you'll learn how to identify and select the proper installation tools, accurately measure the glass, completely clean the glass and window frame, cut the film using hand techniques, the film handler, and the computer cut system, apply and seal the window film on the glass, and much more. Let's take a look at the tools you'll be using to install window film on flat glass. The Ulfa Silver is a specialty knife used for film cutting and border trimming. Only stainless steel blades should be used as they last longer and reduce the likelihood of glass scratching. A sharp edge on the Ulfa knife is critical to success in window film installation. This Ulfa disposal case is the ideal tool for making it quick easy and safe to obtain a fresh, sharp edge from your knife blade. The sliding hatch keeps used blades safely locked inside and out of the way. A razor blade scraper is a great tool for removing glass contaminants, old film, or stickers from windows. The Triumph scraper is used in the first stage of glass preparation. It's easy to use and efficient at removing contaminants from the glass surface. It can be found in 3 inch and 6 inch sizes. Notice the care in which the installer changes the blade on this scraper. The blades are double edged and extremely sharp. Be careful when changing and disposing of used blades as they can cause serious injury if mishandled. Remember to use the back side of the blade dispenser when disposing used blades. A long-handled razor blade scraper is used to remove older film from glass where more pressure is needed. The Unger Pro is the most popular handle in the market and it can be used to hold either the blue Power Max for installation or black rubber blade for cleaning. A wide variety of channel squeegees and other replacement blades can be easily swapped using the Unger Pro by using the quick release on the underside of the handle. Using a flat head screwdriver, you can adjust the width of the jaws to hold the heavy blades such as when changing to the Blue Max blade as shown here. The 8-inch crush squeegee handle allows for additional amount of torque to be added to each squeegee pass. It is the ideal water extraction tool for heavier film applications. Note that the installer is modifying the length of a heavy-duty squeegee blade to fit better in the handle. First, set the blade into the handle and leave approximately one quarter inch of the blade exposed beyond the edge of the handle. Next. Mark the other side of the blade with a pen and carefully, using your Ulfa knife, cut cleanly through the blade. Using a hex wrench, tighten the jaws of the handle to hold the blade in place. The five-way tool and trim guide is used to assist in cutting clean and uniform borders along the perimeter of straight edge windows while protecting the window frame. A card sharpener adds a perfect edge to your card squeegee and five-way tool capabilities. A light duty scrub pad is very useful on windows that may be susceptible to damage from metal scraper blades and to break down oil-based contaminants that a blade can't remove. This spray bottle is perfect for installations requiring control that only a manual sprayer can provide. Normally, a 32 ounce size is used. For larger areas, a pressure sprayer provides a consistent flow of solution and saves refill time. They range from 2 pints to 5 gallons in size. The marking pencil can be used to circle an area where contaminants have been located during final inspection. 
It could also be used to draw a pattern for glass with unusual or irregular dimensions. The white 4-inch hard card is a very versatile tool that may be used to lock down film to glass or, when wrapped in a lint-free paper towel or cotton cloth, to bump off excess moisture at the window frame. As you can see, there is a wide variety of hard cards available to aid in the installation of window film. Each one is slightly different in hardness and shape. It would be a good idea to have several different cards on hand and, through experimentation and experience, find the one that works best for you. These squeegees are primarily used in the installation of safety and security films. With them, you can apply much needed additional pressure to thicker films. This additional pressure is essential in successfully installing safety and security films. The film handler is a vital tool used to minimize waste, improve efficiency, and increase profits. It can be used with film widths up to 72 inches. Before getting started, ask the customer to move obstacles away from the windows that are to have film installed. This will provide clear access to the windows. Drop cloths should always be used to protect floors and furniture overspray as well as for courtesy to the customer. They can also protect film from dusty contaminants. Always use drop cloths with the absorbent side up so liquids do not run off onto delicate surfaces. When mixing mounting solution, use approximately 2 grams of shampoo, about 3 to 5 drops, per quart of water. If the weather is colder, you may use a bit less shampoo and a bit more in hot weather. How hard the water is in your area will also affect how much shampoo is used. Less shampoo for soft water, more for hard water. You should inspect the window surface and frame for any residues of dirt, grease, silicone, adhesives, or paint. Spray the glass completely with cleaning solution. As you clean the glass surface, be careful to not jam the scraper into the edges of the window frame, which might damage the glass, wood frame, or window gasket system. A word of caution, if you hear a scratching sound as you run the scraper over the glass, stop immediately and check for damage to the glass. Some tempered glazing systems have an uneven surface on one side of the glass. Permanent damage to the glass may result if you continue to use the scraper. At this point, you should use a scrubbing pad and window cleaner instead. Use your Ulfa knife to clean up the edges of the window frame. You may also use a single edge razor blade scraper or a Triumph scraper to remove the excess material. Spray the window with your cleaning solution and using a rubber squeegee, clean the glass again completely, beginning at the top edges of the window frame. Wipe away any leftover cleaning solution and contaminants with a lint-free paper towel or cotton cloth. Stroke the edges dry where the frame and glass meet to assure that all dirt and moisture are removed. Measure the window on both the left and the right vertical edges as well as across the top, center, and bottom of the window. This will ensure the frame is square and reduces the chance of wasting film. This film handler makes precise horizontal and vertical cuts on rolls up to 72 inches in width with minimal waste. You can easily mount the film handler on a wall in your shop or on a ladder on location to keep film clean and off the floor while leaving a lasting professional impression on your clients. Note how the installer aligns the film at the zero mark on the horizontal ruler on the film handler. Simply pull the film through the film cutter assembly until the film reaches the desired vertical length. Cut the film horizontally until you've reached the vertical cut in the film. For windows that are longer than the height of the film handler, you can pull half the length of the film through the cutting blade and roll the film up before proceeding. In this example, 
The length of the glass is 72 inches. The installer pulls 36 inches, rolls the film into the tube up to the zero vertical line, and continues to pull the film through the cutting blade until the desired length has been reached. This will help keep the film off the floor, reducing the chance of contamination. The computer cut system has revolutionized the window film market by making installations faster, more accurate, and more efficient. With a click of a button, the computer cut system will maximize the layout of the windows for any size roll of film. It will even calculate square footage and price for any job in seconds, making your job more profitable. Another method for cutting film entails cutting the film straight from the box. Using this method, measure the desired width of the cut along the edge of the box. Insert the Ulfa knife blade through the inside layer of the film box. This will prevent the knife from moving during the cutting operation. Attach a tape measure to the end of the box and extend the tape to the desired length of the film. Pull the film up and out of the box to the pre-measured length. Use the edge of the box and cut along the box to trim the film from the roll. Be sure to cut approximately one inch over to allow for the trim border. You'll be making your final cut when you have the film fixed to the glass. The reverse roll method will ensure clean and easy liner removal for all types of film adhesives. First, lightly spray the tube with application solution. Next, separate the film away from the liner at one corner and pull it back along the length of the roll, wrapping the liner back against the moistened tube of film. Spray the glass with application solution and then the exposed film. Lay the film against the glass along the top edge. Butt the film against the left or right upper corner. If the film is cut squarely at two adjoining corners, it may be positioned to the top edge and one of the sides of the frame for final trimming and installation. If it is found that the frame isn't square, the film should overlap the frame on both the left and the right sides by about a quarter inch. Manually unroll the tube of film down the window. Be sure that there is adequate amount of application solution on the remaining glass as you move down the pane. You may need to lock the top edge of the film in place before proceeding down the glass. Once all of the film has been laid onto the glass, remove the liner and spray the film for trimming and final installation. Similar to the reverse roll method, the drop roll method works especially well with larger windows or commercial applications. First, lightly spray the tube with application solution. Next, separate the film away from the liner at one corner and pull it back along the length of the roll, wrapping the liner back against the moistened tube of film. Next, spray the glass with application fluid. Grasp the upper corners of the film with your thumbs and index fingers. Place your fingers inside the tube and release your fingers from the inside of the tube, throwing the tube downward. This will cause the film to unroll and the liner to be stripped away. Lay the film against the wet glass along the top edge with the outside edges evenly overhanging the frame on each side. If the film is cut squarely at two adjoining corners, it may be positioned along the top edge and one of the sides of the frame for final trimming and installation. If it is found that the frame isn't square, the film should overlap the frame on both the left and the right sides by about a quarter inch. Pull away the liner and spray the film for trimming and final installation. The two-man method has been the standard in the industry for many years. With the film rolled into a tube, lift the corner of the film away from the liner using tape or your fingernail. One installer holds the film by the upper corners while the other strips the liner down along the film. The film is then sprayed with application solution and the film is walked into position allowing it to flow onto the glass. Lay the film against the wet glass along the top edge with the outside edges evenly overhanging the frame on each side. If the film is cut squarely at two adjoining corners, it may be positioned along the top edge and one of the sides of the frame for final trimming and installation. If it is found that the frame isn't square, the film should overlap the frame on both the left and the right sides by about a quarter inch. When utilizing an adjoining window as a transfer surface, you'll be using a piece of masking tape to separate the film from the liner. Using a piece of tape, the installer separates the liner from the film 
by attaching the tape to the liner and peeling the liner back at a very narrow angle. With the freehand method of trimming the film, use the frame or gasket system as a guide. Position the Ulfa knife blade at an angle of approximately 30 degrees as shown here. The knife handle can be set at different angles to the frame depending on whether the frame has a rubber gasket system or not. If the frame does not have a rubber gasket system, position the knife handle as shown in this illustration. If a rubber gasket system does exist, the back of the knife body can be set against the frame with the blade angled inward toward the film so that the blade of the knife sits slightly away from the window gasket. This technique will allow the installer to control the amount of light gap between the frame and the film. This will also reduce the likelihood of damaging the window gasket. In order to avoid kinks at the corners of the film, cut the film diagonally at a 45 degree angle to allow the film to sit back into the corner more easily. This is especially important when installing thicker films on windows with deep recesses. Use caution to not cut too closely to the finished edge. The overlap splice may be made on different areas of the glass dependent upon the size and configuration of the pane. For the sake of example, we will demonstrate this cut at the center of the pane. In many instances, this type of splice may be made at the outer edges or near the top and bottom of the pane. Install and trim the first panel of film and trim the edge along the frame. Lay the next panel on the glass overlapping the first panel. Lock the film in place and trim out the edges on the second panel. The overlap cut through technique begins in the same manner as the overlap splice. Install and trim the first panel of film and trim the edge along the frame. Lay the next panel on the glass overlapping the first panel by approximately 1 8 inch. Lock the film in place and trim out the edges on the second panel. Using your Ulfa knife, cut down the center of the overlap. Cut only deep enough to penetrate both panels of film but not with too much pressure to avoid scoring the glass itself. Pull away the excess on the outside layer of film and then lift the film at the joint and carefully remove the inner piece of excess film while spraying a light amount of application solution into the joint area. Squeegee the seam line using your installation squeegee and or hard card. Spray the window with application solution and use a hard card with firm overlapping passes all the way out to the edge of the frame. This will remove the maximum amount of moisture. Inspect the window for any contamination. Look closely for any air bubbles, water pockets, or trapped fiber under the film. If located, circle the film with your grease pencil. Check to be sure that no additional moisture has settled at the edge of the film by going over the edge of the window frame with your hard card wrapped in a lint-free paper towel or cotton cloth. Lift the edge of the film at the corner closest to the contamination. Spray the adhesive side of the film with your application solution. Then, carefully lift the contamination from the film. If the area of contamination is larger, rinse the film and lightly rub away the contamination using your finger. You may be able to squeegee off the contamination from CDA adhesive film. Respray the film and lay the film back into place. Spray the film and squeegee the application solution to the edge of the window frame. Complete the installation process using an absorbent paper towel or cotton cloth and your hard card to whisk away any remaining moisture. Cleaning and preparation for French panes is similar to that of larger panes of glass. Scrape the glass clean using cleaning solution and a 3 inch triumph scraper or razor blade scraper. Pay particular attention around the frames to ensure that any excess paint, putty, built up dust or other contaminants are removed from around the frame. Continue to clean the glass using a scrub pad and or lint free cloth or paper towel to remove any leftover residue around the perimeter of the frame. Be careful to handle the film as little as possible to avoid contamination of the adhesive. 
Notice how well the film fits to the glass and how easily and quickly the installer can apply the film when it has been pre-cut using the computer cut system. After using the squeegee to affix the film to the glass and to remove mounting solution from under the film, bump off any excess moisture from the edge of the frame using a hard card wrapped in a lint-free cloth or paper towel. Begin with the uppermost row of panes and work across the row and then down to the next row of panes on the window. This will eliminate any possibility of introducing contamination to film already applied on panes lower down the window. Here, the installer has slightly overcut the film. Notice how the installer aligns the film on two corners, allowing the excess to slightly overhang the frame. The film is then squeegeed to about one inch from the frame to the side with the overhang. The installer then performs a final trim to remove the excess film. Always remember to use a fresh blade when making a final trim of the film. Squeegee the balance of the mounting solution and bump off the edges of the frame as shown in an earlier segment. If the film is a pressure sensitive type, you should be able to score the film and pull it away slowly from the glass. Use your Ulfa knife to score the film vertically. Peel back an edge of the film and slowly separate the film from the glass. When the film has been completely removed, spray the glass with your application solution and scrape the remaining adhesive off with a Triumph scraper. For films with CDA type adhesives, use a long handled scraper with a new blade and clean a path along the center of the glass. Then, strip away the remaining film in overlapping strokes. Work from the middle to the outside edges of the glass to avoid damaging the frame or gasket system. You may use a smaller Triumph scraper when you get to the edges of the frame for more control. Afterwards, spray the window with application solution and again scrape the glass with your Triumph scraper. Clean the blade as needed and dispose of any adhesive residue properly. Before installing new film, re-clean the window as shown in an earlier segment. This technique works well on PS adhesive films. Use either clear or white plastic trash bags. Avoid using black plastic with any windows that are exposed to the sun. Thermal stress could potentially damage the glass. Cut the trash bag so that it will lay flat against the glass and is large enough to cover the entire glass surface. Use an ammonia-based window cleaner and affix the plastic to the glass. Trim the borders as if you are installing film, but do not squeegee out the cleaner. Allow the glass to soak in this manner for approximately an hour, longer in cold climates or if it is not sunny outside. If this is being applied to a sputtered film, overnight soaking is recommended. Once the required amount of time has passed, lift an edge of the film and remove the film along with the trash bag. Before installing new film, Reclean the window as shown in an earlier segment. With heavier films such as safety and security films, it's a good practice to cut the film on the diagonal at the corner of the window frame in order to reduce the likelihood of excessive creasing or crinkling of the film as it is being set back into the frame of the window. For illustration purposes, we have pre-marked the frame at a 45 degree angle to show the angle at which to cut the film. The primary difference when installing safety and security films is the amount of pressure required when squeegeeing the film onto the glass. Notice the additional amount of pressure being exerted by the installer as he leans into the glass pane, coupled with the use of a heavier squeegee blade on the handle. In this example, the installer is using a power squeegee blade with an 8-inch crush grip handle. This will give the installer a great amount of leverage that is needed to successfully affix the safety film to the glass. Here, as the installer completes the installation process, he is continuing to utilize additional pressure with a five-way tool wrapped in a paper towel to remove any moisture that may remain and to seal off the edges of the film. This attaching system is used to anchor the edges of the film and to hold the glass in the window frame. This creates a protective system that helps absorb energy and allows the window frame to still bend and twist. If the glass breaks, it will remain adhered to the film and to the frame, increasing personal safety. Tape off the glass from one quarter inch to one half inch from the edge of the frame. 
Use this measurement as a guide when you apply the material. Place the sausage tube into the caulking gun. Using a sharp knife blade, cut a slit approximately two-thirds of the way around the end of the tube. Affix the tip onto the caulking gun. The tip of the gun should be cut big enough so you can have material touch both frame and film. Lean the gun back about 10 to 15 degrees. As you start dispensing material, you should have a slight ball ahead of the tip. As you continue, try to keep a consistent ball. This will allow the material to flow deeper between the glass and frame, reducing air gaps and the amount of tooling that will be required. As you approach a corner, ease up on the gun and allow the material to ooze to the corner. As you rotate the gun around the corner, place the tip at the corner and slowly start running the material until you see the ball and continue around the frame. When you finish, lift the gun slightly and back towards your last run to avoid stringing. You may tool the material as needed. Start by forming a 45 degree angle and always keep your tool close to the sealant to avoid stringing the material. When you have completed the process, remove the guide tape. Peel the tape back at a narrow angle to the sealant to avoid stringing. Clean excess sealant with a plastic razor blade or general purpose cleaner. Although there are many similarities, exterior film installations require some distinctive measures to ensure a successful result. First, a more concentrated cleaning solution is required due to a higher amount of contamination from the outside elements. Exterior film, with the exception of graffiti guard, requires the use of an edge sealant to prevent edge delamination, metal oxidation, and to ensure weather resistance. Due to the hardness of this coating, special care must be taken during installation to avoid creasing the film, and proper edge sealing is required after installation. A final word of caution, installation of this product is not recommended on extremely windy days or when temperatures fall below 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Before beginning installation, make sure the length of the film is approximately one quarter inch longer than the width of the glass. Then, spray the glass with cleaning solution, making sure to completely saturate the glass and scrape the entire surface with a Triumph scraper to remove a majority of the contaminants. A word of caution, if you hear a scratching sound as you run the scraper over the glass, stop immediately and check for damage to the glass. Wet the glass again with the solution and completely clean the glass and frame with the scrunch pad. This will further remove contaminants and give the glass a smooth surface. Wipe the edges of the glass and frame with a lint-free towel to remove excess water and contaminants. Make certain all loose dirt is removed from the frame and glass. Spray the glass one last time with cleaning solution and squeegee dry. Repeat the entire process if necessary. Due to higher likelihood of contamination from the elements, it is recommended that the installer have the film pre-cut for rapid installation. Either a manual reverse roll or two-man line or removal method should be used. The OSW film adhesive is pressure sensitive and will stick to anything it comes in contact with. It is protected by a disposable release liner that must be removed before application. Once removal has begun, immediately begin spraying the exposed adhesive with mounting solution. Spray the glass and squeegee to remove all remaining dust and particles. Spray the glass thoroughly with application solution and quickly lay the film onto the glass. If the film is cut squarely at two adjoining corners, it may be positioned along the top edge and one of the sides of the frame for final trimming and installation. If it is found that the frame isn't square, the film should overlap the frame on both the left and the right sides by about a quarter inch. Hold the film in position at the top with your free hand and slide the liner away. Spray the film with application solution and lock the film in place with a horizontal stroke of the blue PowerMax squeegee. Squeegee horizontally in overlapping strokes using a trim guide or hard card Make a final trim to leave a 1 8 inch to 1 quarter inch gap between the film and the frame. 
This gap is necessary to facilitate proper edge sealing of the film. Respray the glass and with your squeegee make overlapping horizontal passes from the top to the bottom of the frame all the way out to the edges. Wrap your hard card with an absorbent paper towel or cotton towel and make a final firm pass along the entire edge of the frame. This will remove the maximum amount of moisture. It is recommended that the glass be allowed to dry for several days before applying sealant to the window frame. All exterior film applications must be edge sealed to prevent moisture ingress under the film and to maintain warranty protection. Use only an edge sealant from the approved list. Substitutes will void the warranty. As you can see, by following the instructions in this video, installation is easy with SolarGuard's flat glass films.